welcome, and thanks for joining me for some Pathfinder Kingmaker. We're back at the Tenebra's Depths, about to head into the portal here to uh, see if we can make some more progress here underground. I think we still must have like, I don't know, eight or so levels here to do. So we're on, we're on level nine, the purple level as it's otherwise known. Let's see what we've got here. Um, I suppose I should get some people buffed up first. We've been doing a lot of easy stuff with a lot of easy little fights. I'm guessing that this is not going to be quite so easy down here. Alright, let's open the door and see what we've got down here. Traps, of course, right away. These levels here in the Tenebr Tenebrous Depths, uh, it seems like there are a very wide range of enemies. Usually some pretty easy and some not so easy. Durgers. That's a totally new one for us. I think I'm going to switch back here into turn-based. I've been trying to get better with playing in real time, but... I think here, coming into something new, uh, we're going to slow it down here a bit and plan our moves a little better. Especially since we just opened the door and walked right into this situation. Okay, we got a big fireball out there to at least kind of reveal what we've got here. These things maybe aren't too tanky. Can we see level or anything? Oh, level seven, eight. Okay, well, we should be fine. Flash of Stone, Durger Ge Geokineticist, Initiate. These guys were over here just what, having a drink here on the concrete sofa. Okay, we're kind of taking care of the ones in the doorway there. Let's see, get these guys over here. They're just uh, fighting with their fists. Okay, we've got these two stunned. There's still a guy back here doing stuff. I think we can switch over to real time. Still back here. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, there's two of them here. Let's get Anna and Alvar over there. And Maya. See if we can get off a thunder call back here while Kane and Leopard work their way up here. They're going to be dead before any of that happens. Okay. All right. Probably overthought all of that a little bit. All right, Leopard, we need to get you in the action. They're trying to cast Vine Trap more. All right. Okay. Got a letter here on the table. Rivel's unsent letter. My dearest sister, do you remember Tiltarin, who the, these three years ago I had the misfortune of meeting along the pass over the tours of Lebanese. He'd gotten himself into a jam, run straight into a band of thieves that waylaid travelers on mountain roads. His bombs were his only weapon, and he couldn't use them in the snowy mountains without bringing an avalanche down on his own head. By chance, I was climbing up the pass from the other side, fleeing a pack of werewolves, and then there was that horrible blizzard. It all ended in quite a mess, haha. -ha. Me and an elf stuck for three days in that cramped cave, afraid to peek out. Bandits and werewolves stalked the blizzard outside. The occasional sharp cry rang out and then silence fell again. When we finally escaped that stone hole, we were sick enough of each other to say goodbye through gritted teeth and parted ways silently hoping that we'd never meet again. Well, that hope's been dashed. We managed to run into each other in the middle of some backwater in the stolen lands, only to 
only to discover that we were on our way to the same place. Someday I will tell you more of our quest and the manner of our meeting, but know that it began with you again, and in turn we discovered what a coincidence that we'd been having the same dream sent to us by a dragon. As you know, everything happens more quickly in parties of adventurers living from one dangerous expedition to the next. It was like that between me and Till, too. On the fifth day of our journey, his blank face began to seem sweet, and the jingle jangle of his alchemist vials grew soothing. Today is the 37th evening since we reunited and were camping inside the cave where the dragon called us. Today, Till gave me a special seashell, a protective charm. He said it will help me survive in the most dangerous places and that it remembers the last words said at the end of the day. You can hear them when you hold the seashell to your ear. He gave me this gift and went out on patrol. It's his turn today. At first, I didn't think to listen what the shell had to say, and when I did, marry me. I know you'll call me a careless fool, sister dear, but I know what my answer will be. It's a good thing that Zellerin, the dragon who called us here, is also a priest. Though he follow follows a strange god, you can't have a wedding without a boring speech and a priest's ritual, right? Okay, Rivel. Okay, I gotta make sure I keep up with saving down here, because it, it seems like we could at any moment open a door and walk into something disastrous. I can see my destination. Okay, here's our bonus room. Somebody that arcane knowledge check best. would be pick up for that. Brilliant inspiration. You open a link between your mind and the subject's mind, giving advice and encouragement for as long as the spell is in effect. Each time the subject of the spell makes an attack roll, ability check, or skill check, it rolls two d20s and takes the better result. If any roll is a natural 20, the spell's effect ends. Your brilliant advice is spent. Okay, cool. So we need to take advantage of the having that active. There are many roads to success. I'm not touching that. Oh, it's okay. It's trapped. I'm glad somebody noticed that before we touched it. The deed is done. Helmet. That looks cool. Blue dragon scale helmet. Damage direction five, except for magic. Um, that could be good. You know, uh, Alvar's been wearing this hat. We probably should just, just buy a bag of holding. I think instead of him having to wear this, all it's doing for him is giving him carrying capacity. Um, She's got the helmet with the death ward spell, which I think we want to leave on her. Let's Let's give him a cooler helmet. I mean, that hat is pretty cool, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's not very well color coordinated. It's the only problem. Maximum efficiency. I don't think Alvar's doing anything. I told everybody to hold, and he was just standing there. What? You did it? Okay. Alright, everybody on this guy. Okay. Time worn Thessalonian rune from the Tenebrous Depths. I feel like we should have some good stuff to give to the storyteller, but he hasn't been too interested lately. That hurt them. Oh, he's trying to enlarge person. Alright. And that's that. That's looks like that's the end of the level. Okay, we're at level ten. Oh, what do we have over here? Elder water elemental. Okay. 
Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm not sure I can manage this in real time. I guess we'll see what happens. Bruin, get up here. And let's... Is our bless still good? Yeah, let's get a prayer. And the Maya, get up here. And let's go ahead and turn on the heroics. And Alora. Um, if we can get her in here, I think we we could use another chain lightning. Wow, that is a lot of large element. Actually, no, she needs to uh, try to get rid of some of these with banishment. Um, right here, and she could just like wipe out this group potentially. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> I think she cast it. Here we go. Wow, so much happened there all in that like couple seconds. Alora cast banishment. It looks like she must have gotten at least. She got the elder fire elemental. I was trying to get her to cast a fireball. I don't think she ever did. <laughs> There we go. Jeez. We should prepare. That was wild. I'm glad I did that though. That probably would have taken like 30 minutes if we tried to do that on turn based. Okay, so let's just see which one goes down first. This one, no, okay. Good job. Okay, we're all in the room. Um, okay, I need everybody to hold still. And Let Bruin, take a... Nope, no, 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 don't walk they over there. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a misclick. Right, move back. Whoops. Oh boy. Slice. Uh, it's pathetic. Oh, lots of fire elementals. Okay, let's try uh, chain lightning on these things. Amaya, let's get our heroics going. Ruin, we need another prayer from you. Leopard, get out here, Kane. Over here. No fear. Forward. Nice. She hit him with that chain lightning and that pretty much did him in. Okay. Cool. Let us not hesitate. Elder Water Elemental. Kinda gross looking. I don't like it. Ah, time to stretch me muscles. Yeah, everybody just get in there. Take care of this thing. Good job. Take him down. Okay, good job. Oh, leopards hurt. That's not good. All right, there's our our door down to our next level. We've got a, a lore nature check Done. here. Foresight, powerful sixth sense. Once foresight is cast, you receive instant instantaneous warnings of impending danger or harm to the subject of the spell. You're never flat-footed. In addition, the spell gives you a general idea of what action you might take to best protect yourself and gives you a plus two insight bonus to AC and on reflex saves. Cool. Without a doubt. Let's go deeper. Level 11. 
kind of wanted to go up and like sell stuff and just maybe even rest outside at the dragon's table. But we lose those bonuses we picked up. We're, we're, we're okay on spell uses, so let's let's keep going. I think I will switch into turn-based here while we uh, see what we're up against. What's over there? I was gonna look. We're maybe so we're either looking for the wicked chanter or the captor and the captive. Not sure which will be first. I can see my destination. We've got a lot of oozing skeletons here. Let's get some chain lightning in here. Nice. Maybe should have saved that, but we had a pretty big group of skeletons here. So it seemed like maybe it was worth it. Uh, Leopard's trying to collect treasure. All right, I, I feel like we've got this under control. We can just let people have at it. These archers haven't really done anything to us. Cool. I don't know if I can do this in the middle of a fight. I need to look at our pause options. It gets really annoying. Auto pause feels excessive. Um, pause when a trap is detected. We definitely want that. Pause on combat start. That's good. These are all off. Pause when spellcasting commences. Pause when a new enemy appears. Maybe that's what's being annoying. Let's shut that off. Pause when an enemy is spotted. I think, so this sounds more like, I think we'll leave that one on, but when the enemy appears, when that happens during combat, that's when that's really annoying. Pause when the party is attacked. Makes sense. Let's make that one change, see if that makes any difference. Like, I don't know why it paused just then. Okay, here we've got two doors to choose from. If there's gold, it's mine. Like, why is it pausing there? I don't I don't understand that. They were attacking. Is that why? Pause on combat start. Pause when the party member has low HP. Enemies spotted. Maybe that's the pause when the party is attacked. Maybe that's it. Maybe we don't need that one. We know we're gonna be attacked when we're in the middle of combat. I think as long as we have the like pause on low HP, we know if somebody's in trouble. I don't know what it considers low HP. Maybe it said there that's a percentage of their health. Okay, we have a door here. There's still the door back there that we didn't go through. Let's check that one out. Treasure room. Enemy near. Yeah, I was just waiting for someone to pop out. Ghostly Mage Guard. Oh, okay, we've got more than one. Seemed likely. She just took a crit. It must have been from this guard. Is that guard shooting at her? Maybe. All right. Well, less of the pausing helps us know that if it does pause, we've got somebody in trouble. Oh, we've got... Wow, okay. No, we're getting hit from right here. Because we've got more ghosts. Alright, this this is bad. Can I fix this without going back into turn-based? Is the, the question. Commence. This could be a good spot here for Storm Bolts. If she can get it off before she gets killed. Bruin's trying to heal her. And all of these notifications, too, are kind of annoying when there's so many of them happening at once. I might have to see if there's a way to change that. We got the storm bolts. Let's... 
have Amaya here get us some, uh, like, maybe heroics. Actually, the uh, storm call would be good with enemies here close. Maybe we bring Kane back over here to help. I'll just have to resort to brute force. A terrible mistake. She's running away. She's panicked. Wait, where's Kane going? He panicked? Oh, he is. <laughs> Alright, who's still with us? Laura. I do things. She's all right, way. but she's uh hurting. A terrible mistake. Dang it! Now she's down. Kane, that's really unfortunate. That ha that happened to you. This room might be the end of us. Oh man! Like I said, here in the Tenebra's depths, it can go from being like just comically easy to all of a sudden we're dead there's nobody left over here these these guys are is Amaya back oh, she's on her way back yeah so is Kane Anna's running away now oh boy well we're at least drawing these two away I guess we can deal with them in here separately well, Alvar deals with these two. He's doing fine by himself in there. Have to wait till that wears off. <laughs> Anna is trying to get as far away as she possibly can. She's gonna be cornered. All right, she's back with us. What's happening over here now? Alvar took care of the ones in there. Is always an option. Damn. <laughs> this one's still going. Alright. Wow. I must replenish my power. That was a disaster. Disastrous room. We'll meet back up here by Alora since she can't move. She, she must have taken strength damage. Well, we're definitely going to have to rest now before we do a, a new level. I don't know if we can even get through this one. I feel like we're probably about done with this level. Here's the door. Okay. We got everybody healed up, restored. Door here. Uh, this has to be, I would say, about the last room for this level. Okay, let's go down another level. Okay, before we go on here, we are going to jump back up to the outside and rest and sell the stuff we've picked up. Okay, we're rested up. We sold all the junk we're carrying. We're gonna jump back downstairs and try to take care of one more level. I have a feeling like this is a boss level. So I'd like to uh, complete that if we can. We do have a, a pretty good abundance of diamond dust now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on our stone skin communal. Last for 10 minutes. We'll see if that's enough to get us through this level. I think that would be a, a helpful thing to have us have on us here as we go into a level which I'm guessing is going to be a little more difficult than the last. Or a lot more difficult. Poisonous Primal Manticore. Somebody's singing. Okay, good. We'll try to, I guess, be uh, somewhat quick here so that we don't lose that stone skin. Poisonous Primal Hydra. 
wonder if some protection from poison would be learn wise. Their mistakes before they learn from yours. Forgot he's got some new things here too. The legendary proportions. To remember that, like for the boss. Um. Oh, I don't think he has any more. He had a protection from poison communal spell, but I don't think he has it memorized now. Just one Hydra. We should be able to deal with that. As we get deeper in this dungeon, the doors get tinier. I can see my destiny. They should have known better. Swimmer Albear. Several of them. Everybody's so stuck in this doorway. I am I've been playing around a little bit with Wrath of the Righteous in preparation for playing that when we finish this. And being able to rotate the camera angle around is really nice. Really looking forward to having that ability. Kane's taking a lot of heat here. But we got him. Greater Albear like Treant. Alright, it's been a while since we've bought one of those. We had quite the contest with one of those back at the beginning of all this. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, this this Albear like Treant over here needs something to finish it off. Can can we do a coup de grace? Let's get it. Okay, you got it. Good. So it's the same thing happening here. It is. Get that one. Right. We're going to need to do that here then as well. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's really hitting it. Try it again. It's going to be like negative a thousand. Okay. Whew. Got a, a knowledge of world. Check here. Nature's Grace. Oh, good. Bonus to saving throws against disease and poison. Uh, I think that could be pretty handy down here by the look of things. What? Ranger's Diary, the last page. Grandpa, I pleaded, leave me. He looked at me and silently shook his head. It was a long time coming. I'd gone out to scout as usual, spotted a handful of monsters, quietly turned to head back only to find a second pack it crept up on me from behind, as I was watching the first, and then things started happening very quickly. I scurried blind into a side tunnel I'd never explored. They followed me down. I scamper somewhere else and run right back into them. I spin on my heels and bolt for my life, but they get me in the leg, so I'm limping. By the time I hear the song, it was way too late. I had nowhere to turn. I saw her, and she saw me. It was a large cave, well lit by local standards. She stood in the middle and sang, and monsters of all types lay at her feet. Claws, jaws, fangs, stingers, so many that it seemed like one huge beast made of everything that kills. And she was its heart, the wicked chanter. All right, that's who we're looking for. She's not very wicked, if you listen closely to what she's singing. But then it grew very quiet, and she walked right at me. I pressed my back to the wall, and I'm thinking, this is it. And she comes up to me, tilts her head, and sniffs me. There's nothing living in her big black eyes except for something mean and wild. How could she grow up in pitch black? black darkness with the beasts and become anything more. She looked at me and me at her. And I say, what are you looking at? Never seen a redhead? And I'm thinking to myself that I might have one quick shot, but then that'll be it. They'll all attack and bite and slice and tear me to ribbons, a pool of gore at her feet. She reached out and touched my hair, and then she turned around and walked away, all the monsters with her. I found a little nook, crawled inside and passed out, knowing that if I ever woke up, it would be when something started eating me. But no, I opened my eyes and I saw him, the elf. He'd come looking for me when the others refused. 
The scoundrels. He shouldn't have paid them up front. I'd lost so much blood, I thought I'd never make it back up. I kept telling the elf to leave me, but he wouldn't budge. Then I reminded him about his wife's bones that he wanted so bad to recover. I told him, if you try to save me, you'll die, and you won't get what you came here for. That was when he finally spoke. You're a fool, Tenderfoot, Red, and I'm a fool too. Then he sat right beside me and looked at me with those same black eyes. I've come here over and over, gotten two parties wiped out just to find Revel's bones. I felt like I'd abandoned her in her moment of need. I know her pendant is still here somewhere. It calls out to me and led me here. But do you know what? It was all for nothing. All these people died for nothing. I dragged them to their doom just to drown out my own conscience. And it was only when you went missing, only then I realized. I might take this guilt to my grave, but I'll drag that boy alive from darkness before I drag out some old bones, even if they are the bones of my beloved. As he was saying all this, his face lightened up a little for the first time I'd ever seen. It was like he'd found something for himself, something he could call new, and all I could think of was her, her wild black eyes, and I knew I could never tell him now. I'll throw away this book when he's not looking, and I'll never say a word about the song she sang and the cradle I found at the camp by the lake. It was the wicked chanter, his uh, lost beloved, Rivel. We've only got a minute left on our stone skin. We will prevail. Wow, and lots of things here. Um, I'm going back into turn-based for this. I don't want everybody to end up at death's door going into the final battle. There is pretty much every type of beast here you could possibly want. Oh, and we ran down her inspire. Dang it. That's while I was reading that journal. Shoot. Ugh. That was dumb. Yeah, pretty much every type of creature down here. From slugs to smilodons. To whatever that was just now. Was that the chanter? It is. This is the final battle. Wicked Chanter. Let's see if we can take a look at her. And when these guys get done moving. I love the flaming horse just running around. Wow, everything down here is just disgusting. Poor thing. Wow, okay. Well, we have no inspiration. Um, about a cacophonous call. We got several of them with that cock off in this call. I don't like you. Yeah. Alvar had five whiffs there. We got so many in the doorway here they can't even get to us. Let's use our empowered fireball here while we can. Oh, Kane's clearing them out. This isn't a very ideal battlefield here. A cramped doorway fighting all these huge animals. Oh, we got some kind of CC on us now. Great. What happened? Everybody's down with something. Overwhelming presence. Ugh. She and Irovetti have been talking. Well, we got another chain lightning. Jeez, Alora is the only one that's not overwhelmed. Oh, and Bruin. Okay. We're having to do this whole fight with uh two-thirds of our party incapacitated got the sunburst like we might as well pull it out if we can 
we can't cast it without hitting ourselves, so that's not an option. Fireball. Okay, slugs down. I guess the horse is dead too, so we just got the Hydra and the Chanter. Get her invisibility field up just in case. And we really need our front line for this. Uh, we try the Phantasmal Killer on the Hydra, maybe take it out. Yes. Perfect. It's just the Chanter. Um, we could try the Chains of Light on her. Maybe give us a chance to recover. Oh. I suppose it's worth a try with the Phantasmal Killer on her. Well save. We just we need some help from other people here. How long is left on that overwhelming presence? Minute thirty. Oh, Kane's back with us. If we can get him in there, that that'll be good. Um, let's go ahead and put heroism greater on him. And then he can get in there. Let me get some attacks of opportunity in there. Allura is down. We might be at the point. Oh, Leopard's back with us. We might have to just real time it and hope we can get in there and kill her. Leopard can't get through the door. Come on, Kane. We just need big hits from you to finish this. She's going to lose her mirror image and then he should be able to start hitting her. I guess it's worth trying, like, the confusion. Oh, that's all creatures. Uh, maybe hypnotism? Come on, Kane. We need some big hits. There we go. A couple more of those. Oh, I wish we could get this doorway cleared out so Leopard could get in there. Move Alora in. We're getting close. We just gotta get some hits in here now. Her mirror image is almost gone. Oh. Come on, Kane. Five big hits. Yes, one more. Oh, so close. Um, wow. Ruin could maybe kill her. If, if he doesn't, oh, we could. Uh, what about like? Destruction. You could get some good damage with that. Yes, 150. Nice. There's still an owl bear in here somewhere. So let's be careful. Um, okay, we got her. Overcome the wicked chanter. I think there's still an owlbear here. We need to be careful. I can see. Let's see what she had on her. A bow. Doesn't look like it's great, but we'll see. Okay. Cloak of resistance plus four. Amulet of natural armor plus three. Alluring charisma plus six. Physical form plus four. Okay. So, everybody's back with us now. Let's... Do a little restoration. All right, let's let's find this other owl bear that's hanging out here somewhere. Unless that was just a bug. There was an owl bear portrait showing up during that fight. In here. Oh, there's an owl bear. Yes. What the heck? Greater Primal Owlbear. Wow. I don't need anyone's sympathy. Is this thing gonna just wreck us? 
try to hold monster on it. Should be easy to hit. Okay, we got it. <laughs> I think it's massive. Almost as big as the one. The deed is done. Maybe as big as the one that attacked our capital. Okay, here's our stairs down. So let's go down another level and then we're going to portal up and talk to the dragon. See if... She? I think the dragon's a she. See if she has anything to say about the Wicked Chanter. Level 13. Okay, we came out, rested. Let's talk to Zellerin. I've given peace to the Wicked Chanter. I'm glad to know this nightmare will no longer wander the Tenebra's depths. She was so reckless and evil, and looked and sounded so innocent, the better to draw her prey into her nets. A rush of madness has passed, and the veil of darkness has been drawn. I managed to go further than before into the dungeon without the risk of becoming a puppet to the forces of evil. I have returned with some powerful items I think they will interest you. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, I don't see anything here interesting that we want to purchase so we're done here for now i think uh, we will eventually come back and try to do what i think may be the last four levels of the tenebra's depths so we'll see um but that's gonna wait a little while i think we're gonna do some other things next uh while we wait for other things to happen <laughs> we've got 223 days on the next ancient curse so i'm not sure if there's anything between now and then that's gonna uh, come up. I've got that mysterious shrine puzzle to solve. I'm gonna definitely have to put some brain power to that. Thanks for being here with me. Really appreciate it. I hope to see you again next time here in the Stolen Lands. Bye bye. <laughs>